So I think it's fair to say that we all collect for different reasons. We've all said that. Um, we all like different things. We all look for different things. We all have different um, likes and dislikes. We have deal breakers and that can all be very different um, for each of us. So when you're shopping for a baby and you're trying to pick out what silicone baby you want, um, what reborn sculpt you want, because um, it does apply to both reborns and silicone. But I'm talking more specifically about silicone right now. Silicone is a bit more pricey. However, reborns have climbed the ladder with being pricey. Um, I was talking to someone the other day and I was saying how the average price for a very uh, big name artist, reborn artist, is about you're gonna pay minimum like three thousand usually. Some you can start from twenty two on up, but a lot of and I'm talking about the really really no name popular. Most of them get like do almost all the prototypes type um, reborn artists. Other artists, I think you're gonna pay an average between fifteen and up. Um, for reborns, silicone's different. Silicone, you're gonna, if you're looking at some of the very, very up there, well known, everybody celebrating these type artists. Um, they do a lot of prototypes from all around the world type thing. Their prices are gonna be like from 6,500 and up. Um, but there are some that are well known and do pretty well and their prices are gonna cost you around 5,000. But the average price for a full body silicone uh, baby can range from, you know, around 4,000. If you get one under 4,000, um, you did good. Um, and that's if, you know, with hair. If you don't, you know, you might can get one for 3,000, 3,500 without hair, depending on the sculpt, blah, 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 the artist, da, 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 da. But usually you're not gonna find a full body silicone baby under 3,000. So a lot of times the kit itself costs um, $3,000 by itself, just blank. So not always. Um, you go to places like uh, Silicone Studio, um, Real and Grover page. She pours for a lot of uh, sculptors that actually prices are under that, but they're almost the same. Um, even the ones that usually, well, some of the ones like um, you got uh, Lillian Breville and Claire Tillett, their kits start actually at 21 and 2200. Um, so not too too far off from the other ones that's like 17 18 1900 um but with those you don't usually get any features just a soft silicone and the scope which isn't bad if you know it just depends like i said everybody you know want different things i have some of my customers they only want drinking wet they only want armatures they only want this or that and so for them, they're trying to spend the least amount of money and get the most features at the same time. A lot of times we want, we want uh, more for less. And sometimes you can lock up and get that, but sometimes you're gonna have to pay. You know, it's just like for painting. You might find a painter that only charge you $700 to paint. But that painter may be just starting out or may not be as established and or may not be, you know, as good as one of the artists that's charging, you know, more than that. Um, or they may be as good. You, you know, it's like and then that's all based on opinion, too. You know what I mean? 
So, you know, you have to shop where, where you're comfortable, you know, what you like. Um, but I find it's always nice when you can see the sculpt in other people collection and get an idea of what you might like. And especially like, I find YouTube videos very helpful a lot of times because they're on video. And I know that, I didn't know this until recently, but I know some people can actually edit the coloring in the video, but I didn't know that and I wouldn't try it. But a lot of times you actually can see, you know, actual color. Um, you can also see um, more so like movement, how they look in clothes a lot of times, um, different poses because in pictures they're just st still. So if I can actually maybe take a picture of him, prop something up, and depending on the angle of the camera, you won't know that he's actually propped to get this pose. You know what I mean? Like you, you won't know. You would just think, oh wow, that baby pose amazing. But when you're in video, it's kind of hard to fake that, right? So you gotta, you get a lot out of the videos. But I was just showing, wanted to show too, he does have armatures. And armatures is a, one of those things like, some babies, some sculpts I feel like need armatures. Um, they need it because the, the position of the, the hands, the arms, or the way that they are sculpted and they don't, they're not as realistically sculpted. And so therefore the armatures actually give them more structure and it helps. Um, but some babies do not. I feel like this is just my personal opinion. I could take a Billy all day without armatures. Um, I absolutely, now that I had both, I absolutely love, I do love him with the full armatures, but I'll be honest, I really liked um, my girl without the armatures. Um, she fell in natural poses her arms like when i went to flip her over they just kind of almost fell into position but with the armatures i have to make sure i'm conscious of how i'm laying him and that he's not his armatures are not bending in an awkward position or the wrong way if that makes sense um so you know it's always going to be a pro and a con however you guys know I take 100,000 pictures. I have in my phone today over 40,000 photos, mostly of my dolls, <laughs> sadly, even though I have five kids and two grandkids. <laughs> um, I mostly, I take a lot of photos. I put them on my Instagram and I, so for me, Sometimes I just want the armatures because I want to be able to do, I want the, the pose, I don't want, I want to do less prop, propping for photos if I, if I can. Um, but again, like he doesn't have armatures in his leg and if I was getting ready to take that picture, I would have had it posed and then ran and snapped the picture before his silicone begins to fall over slowly because it's soft. So it will eventually probably start to slide and fall, but um, he doesn't have armatures in his legs. So, you know, it's, it's just, you know, all about what we want. Um, the other thing is, you know, are you a, a sleepy mom or are you a wake mom? Do you, you prefer your babies to be awake or do you like them to be asleep? <laughs> um, does it matter to you if they have, you know, 
closed fist or open hands. Um, does it matter to you if how soft they are? You know what I mean? Um, open mouth, closed mouth. Um, do you want a baby with full lips? Do you want a baby that can suck their thumb? You know, it's so many things that we consider between comparing which scope we're going to buy. Um, are you more of a preemie mom or a newborn mom? Or do you like babies that's, you know, still in the infant range, but more like a zero to three or three to six month size? Um, for me, I like preemies. Um, I like preemies a lot, but I like to collect newborn size more so. And I like a nice newborn size that's not super big but big enough to where i can shop easily for them at some of my favorite stores or places to shop and so i feel like he really this the billy scope really goes into that category for me really nice and of course i have others that i really you know love the size um i have my willow my willow is a bigger baby but still a baby um, so he can sometime, even though he primarily wears newborn, but some of the old clothes, sizes have changed now, but some of my old baby clothes, zero to three month fits him nice too. But the new sizes, zero to three fits like three to six months back in the day. If you understand what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter. And some people are scared of, you know, the stuff. And then the other thing is, do you like drinking wet? So a lot of people, a lot of sculptors don't do armatures or drinking wet. Um, both they consider to be a risk or a liability. Um, I, I understand where they're coming from because there is like, for me, a matter of me wanting to paint vinyl versus silicone. As much as I love painting silicone, I didn't really want to paint silicone to sell a lot because of the, the liability behind silicone. It's so many things that I felt like could go wrong and not necessarily be because of something I did or it could be something I did and then I would have to deal with all that back and forth and I, I didn't want that kind of liability. Um, so I would prefer to paint reborns um with the drinking wet and the armatures i've heard a lot of sculptors say well you know people are putting other stuff in the bottles other than water and i don't want to you know i don't want it to come back to me about no mold or mildew um and then the armatures i'm afraid you know i don't want them coming back because they're broke or they're this or they're that so they are trying to eliminate having issues down the road. But on the flip side, the collector side of me wants me to say to the sculptors, once you sell that doll and it's in good condition and they inspect that doll that first day, um, some people give up to three days to inspect your kit or your, you know, your doll. Once they start painting on it, once, you know, and all that stuff, or that's as the, the pores, but even as an artist, once you do a, you paint a doll and you send that doll out because these aren't dolls that we just put on the wall. I don't, I mean, like, you know, like pictures, they don't, we actually play with them. We dress them back and forth, dragging clothes back and forth. Sometimes we know the outfit is a little too tight. We, we want to put it on so bad. So you, you force it on it. So you're rubbing and you're scrubbing. And this is paint. Not this one. He's blank. But you know what I mean? And it's painted. Um, I don't think it's fair for people to say an artist don't stand by their work. If you come back, rather it's a couple weeks or a couple months or a year later, and say, can you fix this? And especially when you're painting uh, black babies, biracial babies, it's very hard to mix, blend that color. And I don't even know how to really patch up a color without it being obvious that it's been patched up on silicone.
I mean, I know how, but it's very hard. Um, I wouldn't know how to get the exact color back though. Um, so it's a lot of, you know, stuff, but I feel like, you know, a lot of people really like armatures. A lot of people like drinking wet. And if the sculptor is capable of doing it and they want to charge an extra fee, that's just like the opening of the mouths. A lot of them don't want to do that. Um, they just put it out there and the more experienced artists will get them and open the mouths. That's fine too, but I would love to see more of them saying we offer that service. Um, I bought a cuddle head. It was $450 just for the blank head. Most of the cuddle heads that I have um, bought normally have been between 100 to 200 and something dollars, the most maybe 300. So $450 and the mouth is not open and they wouldn't even do it for an extra fee. Um, that for me as a collector is a total turnoff. So now if I'm getting the kit for 100 and $85, $200, 250 even 300 the, the the cuddle head, I feel like, okay, I'm saving all this money. Um, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, so it's, it, you know, and, and like I said, I'm just going from both, both angles. Um, some of the sculptors are reproducing their vinyl kits into silicone and what happens is we all know reborn's mouths are closed so because they are closed and not sculpted open when they're poured in silicone they're going to be closed so that's what's happening there and if they're new to it they probably don't really feel as, that confident themselves in opening it so i understand that so i feel you know it's like now, if the, the kit is partially open, that works because the mouth is partially open because we can always modify a pacifier, right? Um, just clip the nipple a little bit, and I like that. That's not, that's not that bad. However, again, my preference is to not have to clip the nipple because I don't like the idea of having to try to put the clip nipple in the mouth as much because I don't like the way the edges feel um, some people get creative and close it close it together um, and stuff like the the edges of the the nipple I had one here like this let's see see that where it's clipped this nipple is clipped well these little edges <laughs> they're not sharp because they're it's silicone, but it still does a bit of extra rub that I don't like. So, but anyway, um, I, I did want to show him and, oh, I keep doing it. Like I said, I really, really... <laughs> I love a baby with a cute little tushy. That's another thing is hard to get. Um, is a baby with a cute tushy. He still needs his little bath and all that stuff. So don't, don't mind him. So yeah, a lot of people go into silicone and not knowing what it takes, what it requires. Um, I've watched painting videos and tutorials, not tutorials, but painting videos on where people are painting silicone and stuff like that. And it looks easy when you're looking at it. It looks very much like you're painting a reborn sometime. And then it depends on how a person applies their paint and how they do their painting too, because, um, some people do paint their, their silicone like they paint their reborns. 
um, they thin their paints out enough to where it goes on smoothly. Um, just like the Reborn painting. Um, so I, I think I do stuff, the I've said this a lot of times, I think I do stuff the long way, probably the hard way. <laughs> Um, because I'm self-taught. I know nobody sat down and taught me how to paint. I didn't take a class. And once I realized that this was work the way that I've been doing it, have been working for me, I'm not even opposed though to taking a class, to be honest, just to see what other techniques are out there. Um, the only reason I have not taken one is because, because it's always good to like strengthen your knowledge and stuff. But the only reason I haven't taken one is because I feel like knowing me, I'm so scary. I'll probably wouldn't still use the technique because depending on what it is, not like maybe how they apply it, but not so much as how they mix their colors. Um, because I feel like what I've been doing so far has worked and for me. So I feel like that is what you know been working why change it because <laughs> um i i pretty much have been pretty good with not having paint loss and stuff like that not to say that it can't happen i have had with my very first one of my not very first but one that i did try something different with um have issues which is phoebe because i did try right at the end of painting her i decided to try a different technique and almost ruined her so you guys know that story well part of that story but so i i just kind of stick to what i'm used to i would try experiment on color but that's just you know you know, it's just my thing. <laughs> I love the I love how newborn this sculpt looks. Like I feel like the face is just very newborn, the puffy, you know, eyes and you know, just I don't know, it just gives me very newborn. -y. So but yeah, I'm all over the place. This is a very long video, but um I just thought I would chat with you guys for a while um what else i was gonna say um yeah and i i am experimenting on different kits different pores all that stuff because i do feel that that is important if i want to be become really really good at what i do i need to be able to do that with almost any kit provided that is poured in platinum silicone and quality silicone now i ain't trying to deal with problematic silicone um i've i've had those the leaching of the oils and all that stuff i don't want it um i am perfectly okay without that so that's pretty much it and I hope you guys enjoyed the chat. We will talk later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a part of the chat box and want exclusive videos and live streams, it is $4.99 a month to join and you do have to be 18 years old. All payments and all that stuff is handled solely by um, YouTube themselves and not me. So, um, it's a secure payment your information is secure and other members do not know who's in the chatterbox unless you are active i can see who joined but other members can't see who joined so um it's a really you know good thing for those that like to <laughs> like to be more private and just like to watch those are the Lolas, <laughs> the, the, the Lola Lolas. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.